Hello everyone, the next uh, video today, or the next pin today is the Hongbian N8. Um, I already have an N7. The N8 is kind of a scaled down version in that it is a has no ink window because it's a cartridge filler. So basically the same style of pen. It's just a different filling mechanism. This one has the N7 has a, it's a piston filler with an ink window. As far as sizes, I'll put the I'll put the specs on the screen. But for a quick size comparison, here's the 100, the N8, the N7. Here's a Lamy AL Star. And here is a Pilot Metropolitan. Let's see. So the the N7 is a little bit shorter than the N8. The N8, I'm sorry, the N7 and the 100 are about the same size. And it's about the same as a, a Metropolitan. So you can see there, there's the Infineal, has kind of a rose goldish tinge to it. There's the, the end band, this doesn't move or anything, has nice rose gold with a nice darker red center band there. Very pretty. There's the section, small step up, it's not rough at all. A metal piece there. And there's the nib. This is a fine stainless steel. It's a bead. I'm using Tesla coil ink, so it's really stained that bead quite a bit. And again, the converter. It's a seal there. There's the converter. It says Hong Neon. Regular converter, nothing special there. That's the threads. You see the inner the cap. There's a, a plastic inner liner there. It's black. There's some maple leaves. This is this is plastic except for the trim. This is metal, probably aluminum, with the inner plastic liner. There's a leaf there. Unfortunately, it's not lined up. I just wish it was lined up, but that's just me. And a clip is tight. Their clips are pretty tight, but it's just a basic clip, nothing special there. Very beautiful pen. I love the, the Hong Dian N series. The only one I had issue with was the N1. Um, the N1 would hard start and would skip. Um, I just need to probably work with it a little, a little bit more. But this is the pen. This hard starts because I am using Tesla coil in it. The Tesla coil is kind of one of those challenging, so I'm just going to prime it a little bit. I think it's just dried a little bit because I've had the cap off. But that's not really indicative of the, the pen performance. It's just the ink that's in there. Pen is the Hong Dian N8. The nib. It's a fine stainless steel. The ink in here is Birmingham Pen Company, Tesla Coil. This is what it looks like. 
So it goes down. Let me zoom in here a little bit. It goes down blue, then it turns a little reddish. You get some nice line weight variation when you press down. It's a very firm nib, but it does give you some nice line weight variation if you push it. Writes very nicely in reverse. So there's a Tesla pull. I've showed this ink before. Let's see if you can see that the shade. Once it dries, it gets uh, quite a bit redder. So I'll go into some. Well, before that, I'll talk about how much I paid for it. I bought this from eBay. It's $31.50. I do believe these are available on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Or one version of them. I think the white one may be available on Amazon. And I bought it from Essie Buy. And the shipping was only about seven days from China. Shipping is getting uh, better and better, I'm noticing. So some quick pros and cons. So for pros, um, nice writer. It's smooth. With a little, little tooth. Um, I would say this is reliable. The only issue I have is when I um, go to first write, and it's because of the ink. It's not. It's not the pen at all. This is the, the Tesla coil. Is a what I would call a challenging ink. It's beautiful, quality build. The um, I've had quite a few Hongdeons from my from the start, and I've hadn't had any issues with any of them breaking down or or anything. Uh, this is a good weight, feels good. It's comfortable. There's no digging into my fingers. Um, it just feels good in the hand. That skipping was me rotating. It does post nicely. And I'll show you here. I don't post my in seven because it gets in the way of the, the piston. But this does this does post. It's not overly back heavy. I just I tend to not write with my um, my pens posted. But it's just a, a nice looking pen. It's very well put together. Cons um, of course with the it uses a converter. And this con is just compared to the N7. So less um, ink capacity when compared with the N7. And also just compared with the N7, um, 3150 And I think I paid like $30 for this one. So it's about the same price. as um, N7 with um, less ink capacity. But, I mean, I like converters. I think they're fine. It came with the converter, of course. Um, I, I do like converters. I like piston fillers, but it's just a pain to clean. And I cleaned this yesterday. You can see in there that there's still some blue. So I probably need to take this apart. It's just, you know, less maintenance with a com um, converter cartridge. I'm using cartridge. But there, there's the pen. It's beautiful. It's 
So just a little quick video on the the Hangdian N8. The, the continuing N series. Hopefully they'll have their continue. I really I'm really liking it. The N series. This one is a, a is a little bit heavier than this one. But very nice. Very nice Hangdian. So that's all I had on the Hangdian N8. I hope this was helpful. And until next time, everyone take care.